Good morning. So it is Wednesday the 10th of May 0920 and I'm just about to break down camp to uh, push on from um, from Prague into southern Poland into Osijek but along the way I'm going to stop off at the Church of Bones which is about an hour from here and uh, then the ride into Osijek will be four and a half hours from here it shouldn't be too bad um, the day is absolutely glorious, not a cloud in the sky as you can see, it is beautiful here um, Which makes everything so much easier, it makes breaking down camp easier I got up this morning and um, managed to clean the bike down and give the bike a quick clean up You can see she is looking fabulous um, So yeah, I cleaned the bike down this morning when I got up first thing And uh, Ready to roll again. I managed to get the bug graveyard off my visor, um, off my windshield because it was brutal. But yeah, ready to push on now. So, I should be out of here and say the next hour and uh, push on to to Church of Bones. I think it's a place called Cunt Nahora. What a name for a place, man! So, this little baby, I've been raving over it for quite a while. It's the Amflip tent. I've just taken off the uh, kind of dome part on top of it and I've removed the pegs and so it's not quite as stretched out as it should be but um, I'm getting ready to pack it up this is the coolest tent in the world to pack and to erect okay um, once you have the pins out or the 10 pegs out and you have the kind of sheet gone from the top here all I need to do is pull on the center of it and it kind of folds down on top of itself like so last one to go in it falls down on top of itself like so um, the rest of it then is, is four corners you see these little pegs here and you just pull it in the opposite direction using we need to do it uh, put it in the opposite direction and fold them up so you do that to all four corners so that's the four corners and come back to you so as you can see, all four corners are all folded up. Kind of looks like a jam bond, it's most really annoying, doesn't it? So all four corners are all um, folded up. And what you do now is you take where those four corners were and you lift it once more to bring the side of the tent up and do that to the four corners, tucking in the middle part as you go. And I'll show you how that looks like once I come back. So that's what it looks like, all wrapped up. So yeah, that's what it looks like, all wrapped up. Um, I'm just going to uh, run two bungee cords around it, which I have over here, and they go into my little tent bag there, and we're all good and good. They say when camping, the only thing you should leave behind are your footprints. And I think uh, we pretty much covered that. Not a thing left, just my bike and all the stuff on it. Let's go find out what the church bones looks like. Um, the, the guy who runs the campsite here, he uh, um, we paid him this morning 16 euro, 16 whole euro for a place to stay and uh, a PowerPoint and a place to bike. And uh, he said, super, super, because he doesn't speak any English. And I wanted to say, hey buddy, we'll have you know my family never took the soup, but I don't think you get the reference. We're not supers. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to push on to, um, to Poland and I'll talk to you. When I get there, or along the way, I'm actually talking to the Church of Bones again. So, I think X marks the spot for the uh, cathedral here, or the church here, in um, Contora, Church of Bones. So, I'm going to have a, a look about. As you can see, it's got good parking too, right outside the door. Hello, so just inside in, um, in the Kuntnahora Sedelik uh, church, this church of bones, and uh, there's like 40,000 people um, using the decoration of the uh, chandelier and, and all the other stuff there, the pyramids of, uh, of uh, skeletons. Obviously, you can't take photographs in there, but what I did was I got a little uh, a brochure. Um, it's only a tiny little place, it's only about 85 meters long, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty small, you know. Um, 
but it's uh, it's cold in there. It's kind of you know. But yeah, what happened was that the uh, when they built a church first, the guy who built it took some earth from um, the Holy Land, from Jerusalem, um, where Jesus is buried or something, and uh, he scattered it among the um, scattered it on the ground where the cemetery is so they started bringing people from not just the local area but residing countries to to lead them there and um, then uh, there was a war and of course the Black Death as well you know so uh, there was a massive amount of bodies and they started using their their remains as kind of chandeliers and stuff maybe in a way so like an example that would be the chandelier inside in the chapel it's incredible you know trust the sailor to always find an anchor you know uh, it is quite remarkable uh, in there um, is it made up of human remains it's, it's an incredible little place um, you know, about an hour from Prague wider as you can see behind me is absolutely gorgeous there's a church there behind me that one there and um there's a bunch of bikers here as well um i'm sure there's past the other side of the car you can't see our bikes um all german guys um out for a spin so uh, i'm going to push on now to uh to Osijek in southern poland uh where we may camp for the night it's not too far it's about four and a half hours um so it's not too much of a ride, I suppose. I might stop along the way, I get a bite to eat. Besides that, we keep moving. Hello, so here I am in um, my campsite in Osijek in southern Poland, about 20 minutes from uh, the Auschwitz Birkenau uh, Memorial. Um, so I'm just sitting down on my bike, relaxing. My tent is right there bike is underneath me and I'm just kind of feeling like a villain um yeah I'm about to put on the old tea uh gonna have um a cup of coffee uh the campsite here is lovely uh there's power in the corner you know the area seems all right and there's actually a big resort further up uh owned by the same people big hotel restaurant like swimming pool all that kind of stuff you know um is a, an artificial lake where you can go use like pedal boats around it and stuff. It's camping molo is what it's called, M O L O. Um but it seems pretty good. Uh very reasonable as well. It was like I don't know, twenty euro or something. Um to for a little pitch here. As you can see it's quite a big quite a big pitch. You know, it's size enough, you know number 33 she actually said 43 which is across the way but there's no power in 43 so i robbed 33 instead yeah, it's known as her own grand but uh yeah the ride down here was absolutely awesome uh the roads in the czech republic i cannot say it enough they are just incredible i think they're built by a water cyclist uh you'll find you're going up going up a hill and you get to the crest of the hill and you actually it's you can't see what's on the other side of the crest of the hill you know it's that steep and you drop over the top of it and you come down to this long sweeping bends they're absolutely beautiful and the scenery around it is perfect as well the roads themselves then are fully tarmacked and they're clean what i noticed i passed at one stage there was a farmer working working bringing i don't know tractors across a road and the road was dirty and himself and his son I say was were actually out sweeping the road to get the dirt off the road you know so like it's perfect for motorcycles you know what I mean there's no worries there's no gravel on the roads or anything um so yeah it's a lovely country to drive through scenery is absolutely beautiful it's like a postcard from Bavaria or you know this kind of eastern European kind of little churches and forests and little houses dotted around the place it's absolutely gorgeous um, so yeah, uh, tomorrow, um, I, as far as I, I hope, will be a light enough day um, on the motorbike. Um, my shoulder is kind of giving out a bit, um, kind of you know tight. Um, I've done over a thousand miles, so well over a thousand miles. Uh, so I'm kind of you know a bit tight and a bit beat up. Um, 
looking forward to a good night's sleep. Gonna have a cup of coffee there and a, a baguette or something and get some get some calories in and then chill out for the night. So that's the plan. Tomorrow, as I'm saying, it will be a, a light enough day driving wise or riding wise, but I would hazard a guess and say it's gonna be pretty full on when it comes to emotions because uh, going to that concentration camp to see it will be be difficult, you know. Um, but look, it's part of the adventure, you know what I mean. So we go there tomorrow. Tomorrow, so is uh, going to Auschwitz Birkenau, then on to um, on to the Velka salt mines, and then doubling back to camp overnight in Krakow. That's the plan. All right. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Good night.